aircraft that were used in Vietnam. Yeah. And there were a lot of downed pilots who were very happy to see them around. Yes. What they used to call those? Yeah. The, uh, the sand. Yeah. Bring in sand. Yeah. Whoa, the I told you, they, they noisy, it. hot, and smoky. And smoky. That's why I like it up here. <laughs> I can hardly even see the plane anymore. I can't see it. Oh. I see it. Look at we're not outside. You guys should be down there experiencing this. I'm not. I've experienced a lot of 18 I was, but then I'm just like, I'm not going to wait out here this whole entire time. You didn't backfire. It's like experiencing jail behind bars. No, no, behind bars. Behind bars. Whoa, look. It looks like you're experiencing the plane. It's like Periodically, we'll do radio control airplane events here, and you'll see all sorts of airplanes, and you won't even realize because they're so well made. They look like the real thing up there. The only difference is they're at 100 feet instead of 1,000 feet. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you don't can't adjust. I, mean, well, I guess they've had a lot of trouble with remote control planes now, airports. Huh? Well, these are not drones. These are actually they're they first of all they're very historically accurate in their design. They look just like this. They don't have cameras or anything else on them, yeah. and they're just designed for for pleasure flying and for for the historic nostalgia. But um, it is quite amazing the effort that some people put into it. I know there was one group that put together a couple of German aircraft, and not only did they have the aircraft, but they built the whole Scenery set up around it. They had that's the tow aircraft used for. Um, is your tower man? No. no, this is an un. They have a Unicom, but no. that's just What's the radio. They still use this air traffic. How far is Oceania from here? Um, six miles. Seven, six miles. So Not that far. You're in their airspace. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And you'll see F-18s 